Finding an off-market property could be the difference of whether a real estate deal is profitable or not. In real estate, we make our money when we buy properties, not when we sell them. Because if we are able to get a deep discount on the front end, we can profit on the back end. To help you make your next real estate investing transaction a home run, I'm going to break down 10 ways that you can source off-market deals in the real estate market in Canada. Stick around until the end where I'll share a special hack that you can use to have motivated sellers calling you. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to create a thousand millionaires using real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. What is an off-market deal? A deal that is listed on the MLS or the multiple listing service through a realtor is considered to be on the market. So really anything else is considered to be off-market. In Canada, we have it a lot harder than our friends in the US because our privacy laws are very different, but we can still find great off-market deals. Deals. Here's the top 10 ways to source off-market deals in Canada. Number 10, for sale by owner sites. Anywhere where homeowners can list their properties for sale without the assistance of a realtor is a great place to source off-market deals. Sites like Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, and Craigslist are the most common, but there are other companies who specialize in working with homeowners to sell their homes with little to no commission. Check out propertyguys.com and propertysold.ca or do a Google search for FISBO in your area and see what comes up. Number nine, flyers. This is one of the OG methods of finding off-market deals, but it still works. There are two different strategies when it comes to flyering a neighborhood. One is to print up a bright colored professional looking information sheet and drop it in everyone's mailbox. The other is to create what looks like a handwritten note with a little more personal touch. If you want to go the handwritten way, there are services that can duplicate a handwritten note on a massive scale, so you don't have to write out by hand 5,000 letters. Number eight, bandit signs. I'm sure you've seen the signs on the side of the road when you pull up to an intersection. They usually say something like, we buy houses for cash with a phone number or website listed on them. I will warn you though, these are illegal, so I would not recommend them, but they can be effective in getting your message out there. Number seven, radio ads. This might seem like it would be pricey and a little outdated, but you'd be wrong on both accounts. Radio advertising is surprisingly affordable in comparison to some other forms of ads. And if your demographic is retirees looking to downsize, then this strategy can work very well. One of my former students, Adam, uses this method with great success. On that note, if you're looking to find out more about my courses that I teach on this subject and over 15 other real estate investing strategies and techniques, check out my website at darrenboros.com. Use the promo code YouTube for $200 off any of my courses for a limited time. Number six, property managers. Who knows more distressed landlords than a property manager? The answer is no one. Between tenants or when a landlord has a bad tenant experience is when they are most motivated to sell. Connect with local property managers and let them know you're interested in buying properties. Alternatively, you could start a property management company. Many smaller property managers break even on their property management businesses, but they use this as a way to find off-market deals. Number five, calling or emailing rental ads. As I mentioned in the previous point, when landlords have vacancies, are between tenants, or have just had a bad experience is when they are more motivated to sell. Call or email rental ads and ask the person who is managing the listing if they're interested in selling. Most small landlords manage their own rental listings, so you'll most likely be talking to the owners. Number four, SEO or search engine optimization. When someone wants to find out information about anything, what do they do? they go to the internet. When a motivated seller types in how to sell my house quickly for cash, the first website that pops up is going to get a lot of traffic. This is SEO and it can be great for finding off-market deals. You don't need to blow out your brains on a fancy website. One landing page with a place for someone to connect with you and learn more about your business should suffice. Getting to the top of Google's rankings for websites, that's another video for another day. Number three, social media ads. I'm sure you see them all the time. In fact, you probably skipped over one to watch this video. Social media ads on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube can be a great place to find off-market deals. Think about your ideal seller and which platform they would be using versus the one that you may like. The great thing about social media ads is they can be very targeted to your demographic and you can also use retargeting to keep in front of the potential seller. Number two, driving for dollars. I prefer walking for dollars because I have a dog and I live in a very walkable neighborhood, but the strategy is the same. You're walking or driving in a neighborhood and you see that one house that looks a little run down or neglected. Go and knock on the door and see if you can get in touch with the owner. Some Sometimes they live there, sometimes they don't. If no one is home or they don't answer because let's face it, 
who answers their door anymore, leave a handwritten note or a business card with something simple written on it like, call me, I'm interested in buying your house. And the number one way to source off-market deals in Canada is still through your preferred realtors. Just because a realtor brings you a deal doesn't mean it is on the market. Good realtors never have to put their properties on the market because they have a list of potential buyers they can bring opportunities to. Why would a realtor do this when they can get more money going to the open market? Well, sometimes the sellers don't want to make improvements to their homes to get them ready to sell, or they don't want a bunch of strangers walking through their home, or they're too embarrassed of the shape of their home to put it on the market. Whatever the reason, it doesn't matter. You want to be the first call your realtor makes when they have a new opportunity. And if that realtor brings the buyer and the seller together on the deal, they double end the commission. It's a win, win, win. The seller gets to sell their property, the realtor makes more money, and you get a property off market without any competition. As promised, I wanted to share a hack that will get motivated sellers to reach out to you. This one's a little more difficult and takes some time, but if you're someone who is known for buying properties for cash and closing quickly, eventually word gets around. The best way to build your presence in today's market is through social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and YouTube are great places to create content that focuses on showcasing you as a buyer and someone who helps solve problems for motivation motivated sellers. Start simple, stay consistent, and focus on edutainment, and you'll build an audience very quickly. That audience could lead to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in savings in off-market deals. If you have questions about how to source off-market deals or anything else real estate investing related, leave those in the comments section below. Check out my website at darrenvoros.com for all my course details, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday.